we just got too much there was just so much going on that we need to take time out like when we were young <laughs> Ryan would be having a field day with this uh, <laughs> but when we were younger right when we were younger we didn't have any of that like you said you could take the time and that's why I agree with you it is we do need to go back more to that because the human brain does need that downtime like it needs its sleep you need to have those breaks that's why things like the Pomodoro technique works like 30 minutes on five minute break or you go for, you have a break you go for a little walk and you get a bit of inspiration right the same for me I go for a walk every morning and I'll literally my phone will be in my pocket because I've got to take it with me but but I will be I won't be focusing on the phone I'll be just focusing on the trees and the birds or whatever right so that will be the focus and that will be designed for me so my brain is not engaged. My, I will not pick my phone out of my pocket. The other thing I do, and Mel Robbins talks about this, is that I don't have my phone in my bedroom because the brain is still aware it's there and it's still firing even when it's in the bedrooms. That was the science that she was talking about. So I have the phone away from me. It's not nowhere near the bedroom because I recognise, because when I come off it, I don't know how about you, Lee, but when I've been on the phone for a while, I can act, when I'm actually checking, and you, you're probably better than this, because I've had to learn to sort of, I'm oh, sorry, Paul, I'm quite extrovert, so I've had to learn to know about how I'm feeling inside through the mental health stuff. I've had to really train myself to, how am I actually feeling right now? And sometimes when I get off the phone, because I do social media and stuff like that, I actually feel quite stressed. Like, I feel my brain, it, feel, it, hurts, it actually hurts. Even now, when I'm doing this book, I'm thinking, and we, we, we engage, and we've got TikTok. My brain is engaged. It's like working. And so... Yeah, I feel it's on. And I think that's where the mental health, you're on all the time and you do need to come off that. And actually, that's why Ray Dalio talks about meditation and mindfulness and like you said about that exercise you do with the pen, that he feels like meditation, like it's going on holiday, like for your brain. It's like, right. And I actually did a bit of that today, to be fair. I felt today, there was quite a lot going on in my day at work. I'm going to take 10 minutes and I'm just going to sit and I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to have a thing. I'm just going to take that break. And I'm, really, I'm actually not going to have my phone. I'll put my phone away, away from me. And I just focused on just doing nothing and just literally focus on my breathing and just doing that and also Lee I did your mindful eating when I have my my, my, oh, my, my, yeah. my, my, my break yeah. I am just eat, I, 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 I sit on my own I don't have the telly on I don't have my phone on I just eat my food and just eat my food without anything and I can tell you something the benefit of that is huge because we you know you know me and you, you do it yourself you have to communicate with people we have to deliver messages can't be as effective if you're not got your energy <laughs> Oh,